Let's talk about preventing ear infections for dogs with long floppy ears that trap in water. I've had English Springer Spaniels pretty much my entire life and I've gone through many iterations and many different products, some of which helped, some of which didn't help, and some of which helped some dogs, but not all dogs. So right now I have two English Springer Spaniels. They do battle ear infections and I don't want to be running off to the vet every time we have gunky ears that smell and that are kind of itchy for my girl. So I want to make sure that I'm preventing this as much as possible. And I found something that's working right now for Lucy and for Gemma that my vet said is going really well for us and to keep going with that. That might work for you as well. I will link all these products down below. So they are in the caption if you want the exact ones that I use. So you want to make sure that you are monitoring your dog's ears. You're not going to be doing this every single day. You're not going to be putting products in their ears every single day, but you want to be checking them every couple of days, especially if they seem itchy and if they smell. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to them, but you also want to just do basic maintenance on them. So when you start to see debris in their ears, you need to start taking care of it. So you want to make sure that you have something like a makeup round that you can just kind of go in and clean up some of that debris. Make sure that you're not pushing anything too far into their ears. You're being nice and gentle about this. You just want something that's going to kind of clean out some of that debris to help keep a lot of that icky stuff out of their ears. But then you also want to make sure that you're drying out those ears because the ears are flopped over, it traps in that moisture. So you are looking for a product that has salicylic acid in it. So it can be something like this. I'm going to link this one down below. This is an ear wash or an ear flush that every once in a while, when I start to see it's getting more than just normal earness inside of there, I am putting just some of that wash in there. And all you have to do is put a couple of drops in and then massage their ears. And then you can actually use the makeup rounds to clean out any excess gunk or debris that kind of moves around in their ear while you are massaging it. Again, this is not something you do all of the time. This is something you do as needed and every once in a while for maintenance, especially if they are going swimming. So if your dog has been in the water rather than just hanging out and collecting normal moisture from the air, then you want to make sure you are doing some preventative measures with that salicylic acid in your ear wash or your ear flush. And again, just massaging that every once in a while. And then the other thing that I do is I use Zymox. This is a really nice little product. This you can get at Amazon. You can get it at any of the pet stores. You can get it at most stores. We'll carry these if they have some semblance of pet products. And this has a little bit of medication in it. So it has hydrocortisone in it, which is going to help clean it up. So I had Gemma who does have a lot of allergies. My allergies are very extreme in poor Gemma and ears are part of that. And so sometimes she gets very, um, very, raw red ears because she scratches them so much and they smell a lot and they're really hot to the touch and it's a whole thing. And I used to just take her to the vet and get prescription medication for it that was very costly and yes, cleaned it up, but I happened to have picked up a Zymox from the pet store recently, the last time she got this. And sometimes it worked for my previous dogs and sometimes it didn't work as much as I would like. And so I wasn't super on board with it, but I wanted to give it a try before I went to the vet two times I put the drops in her ears one day and then the next day and it was totally cleaned up. It may not work the exact same way for you, but I can say that it does work magically on my current dogs. And I love the combination of having an ear wash and the Zymox. You do not do these on the same day. These are on different days. So if you're noticing like there is definitely a problem, something's going on. And if it continues, I'm going to have to take my dog to the vet use the Zymox. If you have been swimming or if you're just doing routine maintenance, use the wash. And then if it gets worse or progresses in any way, then you can switch over to the Zymox. And I just do it on different days. I do not mix them. I don't do them on the same day. I make sure I space them out and I'm only using it as needed. So I'm not putting these drops in all the time. It is literally just if I'm noticing something has changed, that ecosystem inside of their ears is a little bit different, I'm using one of these products and I'm making sure that I clean them out as well so that I'm keeping my dogs healthy with their ears, we're not trapping moisture in, and I don't have to go spend a ton of money for a vet visit and then for medicated prescription medicine that is going to help them, but I might not have had to pay that much if I just used this product in the first place. So with that in mind, as you are taking care of your dogs, just as you're sitting there petting them, you're playing with them, just flip their ear open, check it out. If you notice them itching it, if you notice a smell, if you have been in water, 
make sure you are taking a look inside of those ears and then you are going to clean them out. Again, we're starting with the cotton rounds. We're just going to wipe out their ears, get any debris out of there. And then if you need to, you're using a wash with salicylic acid. And then if you need to, you are going to be using that Zymox with a hydrocortisone in there to clean that up. And again, if it cleans up, great, fantastic. If it persists, then it's time to go to your vet and have those conversations. And as always, before you go using things on your dogs, have a conversation with your vet. A lot of vets these days will allow you to email them or to text them or just to give them a quick phone call. You don't have to go in for an appointment to have a conversation about what you can be using to help dry out your dog's ears, but you can touch base with them to make sure it's going to work for your dog in case your dog has allergies or it's going to impact something that they're already on or whatever you need to know. There might even be a better solution for your specific dog, your specific breed. So chat with your vet about this. But this is a real easy way that you can get these things. Again, Amazon, pet stores, Target, Walmart, those kind of things. I will link those down below for you so you can easily access the ones that I use because they have worked just magical wonders on my dogs, especially when they had really rough, raw, red, smelly, itchy, painful ears. It cleaned it up within two days, within two uses of it. It was just I can't sing the praises of this enough, especially for the two current dogs that I have. So hopefully this will work for you as well. If you have suggestions or solutions that have worked for you, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. We're building up a community here where dog parents are helping other dog parents. We would love to hear from you. Follow along for daily videos, helping you to level up for your pup, and we'll see you tomorrow.